Well, another cold night, but the last cold night for a couple days before we see ourselves back into those teens I'm around Friday watching a cold front push in from the north. Right now, we're looking at a good idea of the temperature change over the last 24 hours, really going from those upper teens up to 30 degrees, then back down already into those 20s. Now, we only saw a 10 degree spread letting us know that this cold air is pretty strong right now. You don't need me to tell you that because it's feeling pretty brisk out there and it's been feeling that way for about four days. And we're finally going to see a break from some of those cold temperatures. But right now, we're looking at them and it's 20 in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us in a combination of 20s and teens. And we're going to make our way down there a couple more degrees. Right now, lovely shades of blue across the entire region reminding you that it's cold. Again, 20 in San Angelo, Sterling City, 16, 22 in Junction. And when we're talking about the cooling off rate right now, we're looking at a good six degree spread, kind of slowing down. So we're seeing a good amount of moisture make its way in from the Gulf. Again, talking about that southeasterly wind, still light in nature. Now we're looking at the relative humidity indices up about 20% or so. Of course, down in Junction, they've jumped way up about double. Then, of course, those dew points are down in those single digits, if not zero degrees. And, of course, we're looking at us head that direction with that wind chill taking into account. Now, we're looking at those temperatures across the entire nation, of course, a lot warmer up there in those Rocky Mountains compared to San Angelo and those Gulf Coast areas still just holding on to what they can. But we're getting a good idea when we talk about those wind chills about where this cold air is really headed. Again, negative 12 there in Minneapolis, negative 21 in Nebraska. You can see how it's slowly sliding off to the east, but we're still in the same temperature range right along those Rocky Mountains. And when we get a good idea of that moisture, we're watching that cold, dry air push off to the east and watching that moist air return again from the west and from the southeast. Now, her, uh, tropical, not tropical storm. Winter storm Heather is the one that's impacting us off to the east and we're getting a good idea of the next storm making its way in off the west. That's going to be winter storm indigo and I have a whole list here for winter storms as we continue to make our way through some of this cold weather. Of course we're going to watch this storm push off to the east and then we're going to watch things speed up a lot as this system starts to clear up the upper level pattern. Another low pressure makes its way in and then it starts to create a lot of ridging across the Rocky Mountains. That's what's going to really warm us up but then we start to watch what they call difluence where we're going to continue to watch some of these winds push up to the north and then be taken over to the south. Now we'll see a little bit of short wave troughing make its way in by Monday. That's going to be our big rain event that's going to last for a couple days, but keep us in the 60s with those lows down in those 40s. So feeling more of that average. Believe it or not, the satellite is showing us how cold it is. It actually picks up a lot of cold temperatures because it's infrared and you can see how cold it is up there near the uh, Mississippi, if not Ohio River Valley. But we're watching this next big storm make its way in off the west coast. That's going to be uh, winter storm indigo. Now the uh, future cast really going to show us how much snow it's already going to dump across the Rocky Mountains where they're sitting at about four feet right now looking at an additional two feet. They've been seeing a lot of avalanche warnings if not avalanches themselves and this is really going to lead to that storm plunging us down back into those teens by about Friday Thursday looking like a warmer day seeing a lot of prefrontal warming before this large drop from this cold front pushes through and of course off to the west we're looking at a good mixture of snow ice and rain but it shouldn't push into our area whatsoever just a little bit of high winds by tomorrow of course around Wednesday around noon that's when we expect those winds to really pick up and they're going to stay with us throughout the rest of the day making their way into Thursday again that's where we're going to see a lot of strong prefrontal warming push us up into those 70s before we see that cold front move in by Friday drop us back down into those teens so tonight dropping down a couple more degrees into those 17 marks if not seeing those winds really pick up again another hard freeze then by tomorrow in those 50s a lot more comfortable and then it's gonna keep going up from there steadily we're gonna be in those 60s by about uh, tomorrow. Then by Thursday, we're in those 70s. Then by Friday, we're dropping down to about 30 degrees, and then we'll slowly warm back up. Again, seeing those lows go from those teens to those 30s and back up to those 40s by next week with a good opportunity for rain. Stay tuned. We'll have more up at the break. Watching KSAN News at 10.